In this morning's Health Watch, Water Smart Babies. That's the name of a program teaching water safety and life-saving techniques to kids less than a year old. The goal here is to change a grim statistic. 700 children each year die from drowning here in the U.S., and most of those deaths happen in a backyard pool. CBS News contributor Priya David Clemens has more. He's only two and a half, but Max Bear can already swim the length of his backyard pool, even weighted down by clothes. We asked him to show us his water skills. But his parents will never forget last year's close call. Max was just 16 months old when their Great Dane, Scooby, accidentally knocked him into the water. And Max went whoosh, right into the jacuzzi. And uh, we all, I kind of, I guess we kind of froze for a second. They knew he couldn't swim. But in that instant, Max began to save himself. He somehow remembered to roll over onto his back so he's able to float and be safe in the water, and then that's when we came over and grabbed him. And he could just do it. And he did it, and he did it. A life-saving move he'd remembered after just a few swim classes. Arms out right away, Max. In Arizona's Water Smart Babies program. Long before they can walk, infants are put into the pool. <laughs> that they adapt so quickly is a credit to Lana Whitehead. She believes even the tiniest babies can learn water safety. She wanted to relax and enjoy the water so they can float. We teach them submersion. Then we teach them to swim to the steps where they can push down and lift their head to get a breath. How's the learning process been? It's just been incredible. I mean, the, what he can do, I didn't think babies his age were able to do. It's not about showing off. It's about survival. Drowning deaths are on the rise in Arizona. This year, nearly 130 water-related emergencies. Statewide, 16 children died from drowning. Why is it important to you to bring her here? It's important that she gets used to the water at an early age. Uh, living in Phoenix, every other household has a pool. It's time for your checkup, young man. He's this summer, local now. pediatricians are joining forces oh, with Water Smart Babies. His breathing is nice and strong. Dr. Judith Pendleton believes nine-month-old Ronan Grove is Good ready job, to Ronan. take the plunge. She's using a prescription pad a prescription. of sorts to so urge early swim instruction. Tell them you have a prescription for your doctor uh, for water safety classes, and they should be able to help you, and some of them are actually giving discounted rates for their oh, babies. Nice. Okay. So that's something, oh, you want to hold on to that. Are you going to try to stay safe, Ronan? <laughs> the really wonderful thing about it is you can actually put something in someone's hands that directs them towards the resource rather than just mentioning it with every other thing you talk about at a checkup. For kids under the age of four, swim classes can reduce the risk of drowning by 88 percent. But experts caution that swim lessons alone aren't enough. Close supervision, a fence, and a self-latching gate are all essential for safety. The bears aren't taking any chances. They've already enrolled Max's six-month-old sister in Water Smart Very Babies. Good. You did it. They hope little Avery will soon be a strong, confident swimmer, just like Max. Priya David Clemens, CBS News, Phoenix.